Good morning to one and all. In this session, we are going to learn about MongoDB, Mongo Shell, and Mongo Compass, and how can we make connection from Python to Mongo Compass and MongoDB. So I quickly open my contents. So which includes MongoDB, what is a MongoDB, and what is a Mongo Shell, and what is a Mongo Compass? As we already know that MongoDB is a NoSQL database. So I will just open my Atlas cluster. This is my Atlas cluster. So, and in this, first we are going to select an option called connect. While selecting a connect option, it will provide the following. So connect to Mongo shell, connect to our application, connect using MongoDB compass and connect by using Visual Studio code directly. So first of all, I'm going to connect with Mongo compass. So I'm going to click on this connect using Mongo compass. It will again ask about do we install MongoDB Compass or not? Yes, I am already installed the MongoDB Compass and it will provide the connection string. I'm just copying this connection string and I am going to open my MongoDB Compass. So this is my MongoDB Compass. In this URL, I'm going to paste this one. Now I'm going to rewrite my password. Yeah, I'm going to hit the connect button. Yes, it is connecting to mongodb.net and now the mongodb is connected. So it consists of following databases, admin, config, GUI, India, local, MRP, power and sample, Airbnb and etc, etc. These are the some of the databases in my Atlas mongodb. Now here I am going to create one database. So I am going to select the option that is database and I am going to hit the button create database. Let me uh, name the database name as Dell and make the collection name as HP. I'm going to create the database and you can clearly see that the database is created with the collection name called HP. So in this way, we can connect to MongoDB Compass from Atlas cluster. Now, the second option is Mongo shell. I will back open my Atlas cluster. I'm going back and I'm going to select an application Mongo shell. So in the Mongo shell, it is going to ask whether the Mongo shell is installed or not. Yes, I already installed my Mongo shell. Hence, I'm going to copy the URI string. Now, while navigating to this folder, like this C, program files, MongoDB, server 5.0 and bin. So up to this, the navigation is going to be done. And then we are going to paste the connection string here. And it will ask about the password. Once we hit our password, it will also provide the MongoDB version and also the mongo shell version and the mongo shell is connected so we can also find the databases using a command called show dbs now i am going to create a new database here so for creating a new database we can directly use use option so i will again verify the show dbs to verify whether the dell has been created or not yeah you can clearly see that dell database name is created which we already created in mongo compass now I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to use another database name and my database name is iPhone. So use iPhone. It is directly switched to iPhone. Now I'm going to verify whether it is created or not. Show DBS. So the iPhone database will not be created since in MongoDB for creating a database, it must be attached with the collection. So when the collection is created, then only the database is created. So I will again use that iPhone use iPhone oh sorry use iPhone now I'm going to create a collection so db dot that is my database name create collection I'm going to mention the collection name uh, let me say uh, any other name Samsung I'm just hitting the enter button yes it has successfully created the collection. Now I am going to verify whether the iPhone database created or not. So I am going to use show DBS. So you can clearly see that iPhone database is created since the collection is attached to the iPhone database. So this is the second way of connecting to Mongo shell from the MongoDB Atlas. Now I will open my MongoDB Atlas once again. Yeah. So here I'm going back. Now I'm going to connect with my application. So for connecting with my application, it will provide number of drivers like Node.js, PHP, Python, Ruby, Scala, Shift and C++, Java, etc. Now I'm going to connect with Python only. 
So I will open my Jupyter notebook. So for connecting to MongoDB Atlas from Python, we are going to install the Mongo client and a DNS Python and PyMongo. After successfully installing all these three packages, now we are going to import the Mongo client. So I will just run the code here. Yes, this line is successfully executed. Now the connect system which is displayed in the Atlas is directly pasted here in the form of URL. So this is the connection string. So connect to my application and if it is already installed, I am going to select an option Python. So it is going to select the version. Then the connection string is going to be copied here. By providing the password, I am going to hit the button. Yes, it is successfully created. Now this URI is going to be passed as a parameter for the Mongo client. So I am going to hit this one also. Now I am going to verify whether the connection is established or not. So clearly the connection has been established and it providing the value connect is equal to true. I am going to verify the statistics of the database that is Atlas MongoDB and also going to verify what are the database names that are available in the Atlas cluster. So I am going to hit this. So you can clearly see that Dell, UV, India and iPhone which we have created earlier. So in this way we can establish the database names and we can establish the connection also. Now I am going to connect with one of the database name that is sample underscore weather data dot data. Now I will open my MongoDB compass here. Yeah. So sample underscore weather I am going to click here. So it consists of data collection. So this is the database name and this is the collection name. Now I am going to collect this one. Yes it is connected. Now I am going to hit this data. So it shows how many rows and how many values that are displayed in this database. You can clearly see that these are the values. That is the key value pair that is JSON attribute values. So these types of values are present. So totally how many documents are displayed it is going to be presented here. Now I am going to count how many types of documents are present in the database. So I am going to hit as data.count it will clearly show that how many documents are present in that and also you can find the count the number of documents. So total number of documents in the database is 10,000. Now I can also use an option called find it will return the first cursor value that is the first document value and I am going to use a method called find underscore one which will return only one document that is the first document in the database and this is the first document. Now how can we read the data from MongoDB using Python? The same case I am going to import PyMongo and I am going to run this URL and I am going to make a client connection and I am going to use data that is client client dot sample underscore weather data dot data. The same options I am going to hear. So the find one now in find one I can provide a connection string that is the data source name is four I have passed here data source name is equal to four. So I can clearly hit and enter and I can retrieve the values whose data source value is four. So in the document this is the data source value. So I am going to use any type of query here I just pass a data source is equal to 4. Now I can also use elevation also here I pass it the elevation but it returns only the cursor value. Now I am going to list the database name once again and I am going to make another database which is called as training. So I will open the MongoDB compass. So training the training database contains these type of collections and I am going to use KVN collection which consists of three values ID three values. So I will create and enter and I am going to count the values and I am going to find one and I am going to find the number of documents. So here the total number of documents are three. In this way we can establish the connection from Python to MongoDB. Thank you.